Okay, so Macy's seems solid, but the stock is down. Like, what was your takeaway? Was Macy's as bad as we thought? So they had an investor day just last week. So the comp was very much expected, and they've guided to negative comps for this year. So no big surprises here. But I think the issue here is that Macy's is shrinking to thrive and survive, whereas other retailers are investing in their stores to thrive and survive like a target here. So the department store space continues just to lose traffic, not have compelling private label brands and apparel. And, you know, closing stores is what we're going to hear more and more about over the next few years. So when we look at when I look at the kind of the retail index, so Macy's has been one of the underperformers. Mm -hmm. The top performers are those online sales, so Amazon, the Home Depots, those housing sector, uh, the ones that capture there. So are they are they doing anything to try to kind of uh, combat those bricks and mortar structural declines, or is there anything that they can do to? potentially boost their performance? They they are, and they're investing in what they call their growth 150 stores, so they're really focusing on their top performing stores and trying to cull kind of the rest. The question is, what does the store base really look like if they just close 20%? Do they really need to close 50%? And we're seeing that with Nordstrom. So Nordstrom is doing kind of a hub-and-spoke model, which you have the big stores, the big markets, and then little stores in local markets that you can kind of share inventory. That's the model of the future. But I think the, the retail that are really going to do well. Again, Home Depot, Target, Walmart, what are they doing? They're doing the tough thing. They're investing in their stores and omni-channel, and they're coming out the other end with bigger multiples. Are we worried at all about the coronavirus hitting retail and consumer sentiment? I mean, yeah, okay, Apple, I get that's a specific sort of China story, but when you see the headlines and consumers just get scared and they don't want to buy stuff and the consumer has been holding up the whole equity market, like, are, are, are we worried about this? Well, I think, um, yes, because most brands and most retailers are global now. Mm -hmm. So for luxury guys specifically, <laughs> up to 40% of their business comes from the global Chinese consumer. That's a ton. So if you see the Chinese consumer shut down, they can't travel. And by the way, when they travel, they spend way more money on luxury than at home. So it's a double whammy here. It will eventually lap over into the states if, if this keeps going the way it's going. But ultimately, so we do still likely expect a V-shaped recovery. So we would expect that the U.S. consumer would be insulated. So are they able to weather the storm through, through mm -hmm. that? I think so. And again, I think it depends who you are. So again, the, the companies that are positioning themselves really for the future and to, to capture more and more wallet share, mm -hmm. um, like Home Depot's results today, you saw a 5% comp here. They're, they're in investment mode. So mm -hmm. they're coming out the other end with better comps. And once they can convince the street that they're getting through the investment cycle and it's paying off, mm -hmm. those are the stocks you want to own right now. Um, and, you know, certainly we will see that the U.S. consumer is somewhat concerned, but it seems kind of far away from them right now. Right. Well, bringing up Home Depot, though, I mean, I wonder how much of the good results have to do with the lower rates from the Fed, which mm -hmm. is helping the housing market, in which case, like, does that wear out? Because we might not see rate cuts anymore this year. Sure. So your mortgage rates are down huge year mm -hmm. over year. We're seeing a, an aging inventory of U.S. homes as well. So there's a cycle there, one could argue, for upgrading homes. And I think the rest of it is that Home Depot is expanding. They're going back into decor. Mm -hmm. They're really focusing on customer mm -hmm. service. They're doing all the right things to capture share and capture wallet.